Hi there, welcome back to Chendu.org. In this video, we are going to talk about how you can save time with custom ribbons. Starting Excel 2010, Microsoft has introduced a feature called Customizable Ribbons using which you can create your own ribbon tabs right inside Excel. Now you might be wondering, hey, why would I bother creating my own ribbons? The reason is very, very simple. Not all of us do same type of work in Excel. For example, if you are an analyst with the heavy usage of pivot tables, then what happens is you would spend a lot of time on say data tab and maybe insert tab from where you can insert a table or a pivot table and then uh, some of the pivot table tabs like analyze and uh, options tabs. So uh, what happens is in order to do your work better and faster you would be juggling between these four or five ribbons uh, even to accomplish simplest of the simple tasks. Now uh, if you want to save time and if you want to work efficiently, wouldn't it be great if all of these options are all pulled together into a single ribbon tab instead of being scattered across multiple different tabs? That's what custom ribbons allow you to do. They will give you a choice to create one ribbon with all the options, all the features, all the macros that you would frequently use. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate how you can create such custom ribbons in Excel. Uh, and then uh, you can go ahead and give a try with your own ribbon. So let's jump into the workbook here. Uh, for this particular video, there is no example workbook. So I'm just going to show you in a blank file how you can go about this. As you can see, uh, what I have is a pretty standard Excel installation. This is 2013 Excel that you're looking at here. Everything looks same. Uh, but if you observe closely, I did have some customizations done to my ribbon itself. For example, I have uh, added a couple of macros that I frequently use to my home ribbon because I didn't want to go to uh, my developer tab and click on macros and f find out where the macro is and run it. So I, I, I set up shortcuts so that you can click on it and that will quickly uh, create uh, that effect or automate the stuff that I'm looking for. Uh, likewise, I have done some other customizations, but we are not here to talk about what I have customized. We are here to talk about how you can customize Excel uh, so that you can save time and do awesome things. So let's go ahead. Let's uh, the customization of ribbon is very, very simple. Right click anywhere on the ribbon. It doesn't matter on which ribbon you are. Right click and then say customize the ribbon. That's it. This will open up your Excel options with the customized ribbon screen highlighted. What you can see here is there are all these ribbons that are available in Excel. You can customize any one of them or you can create your own ribbon. Okay, Customizing the existing ones is not so much of a puzzle. So let's go ahead and create a new ribbon. You can click on a new tab and a new tab and a new group will be added. We will understand what these are in a minute, but first let us go and give this ribbon a name. When you insert a new tab, it will be just called new tab, but uh, that's a lousy name. So we're going to call this as productivity ribbon. So click on that and rename it and then type the name. Okay. And in this particular ribbon, we want to add all the things that you would be frequently using. For example, uh, if you are that pivot table heavy analyst, you know, the kind of things that you would be doing are uh, insert a pivot table, right, uh, and insert a table. So I'm going to uh, look at that. For example, we would be adding um, tables. So I'm going to add that to that uh, and then insert a pivot table. So in the first group, uh, we are able to insert a table or a pivot table. Uh, then you can add more groups here. What we will do is we will figure out some appropriate options for us to add. For example, once you have a pivot table, you might do some customizations to it. So I'm going to uh, select all tabs and then uh, we will go and scroll down and okay here 
I'm just looking in the wrong place. So we have your pivot table tools here and we would like to add uh, the name and the table options that entire thing. So we could uh, add that, that will be a new group, whatever you see on the left hand side of the pivot table analyze tab where you can set up the pivot table name along with uh, uh, some customizable table options will be added to the productivity group. Likewise, uh, you may be able to add uh, uh, that one, the slicers things and then ability to refresh. Now that needs to go into a new group obviously. Uh, so we will add one more group and that thing will contain the refresh button. Uh, and maybe the pivot chart and uh, some some of these things you could go ahead and take something else from some other ribbon like the design ribbon uh, and uh, and add it for example we could add the uh, the entire layout area to the productivity okay now let's rename these new groups. Uh, they are by default called as new group, but we know they are not new groups. So we are going to uh, rename them. This group will be called as insert. And you can assign an icon to it, but that's probably not necessary here. Uh, likewise, you can add, uh, you can rename the other group, which is uh, pivot options the mic I'm using is kind of right above the keyboard so I can't see the keys when I'm trying to type uh, and it's, it's a little tricky okay so we have your pivot options pivot table name and layout and filter and everything is there uh, if you want you can then go ahead and add anything else for example let us say you have written some macros to automate the pivot table process uh, right now I don't have any such macros here so I can't show you how to add them but let's say the combination filter is one such macro what you can do is you can you can make a new group and add that macro there okay and then rename this as macros and uh, and the combination filter will go there. Now what icon will the combination filter macro show? Uh, you can select that and you can say rename, keep the name as it is or you write any other name and select one of these icons. Excel offers a, a selection of icons that uh, you might find interesting. If you don't like those icons, you would have to uh, import some icons there is a process for it but that's probably a bit beyond the scope for us in this uh, particular video uh, so once we have added all of that if you want you can rearrange the order of them uh, for example maybe the macro should be the last one so select that and using those arrow buttons uh, push them down as per your uh, your choice and then once you're done you can click OK now make sure the productivity ribbon is checked because if it is unchecked it won't be displayed on your excel and instantly you will get a productivity ribbon which will be the second ribbon and everything that you frequently use about pivot tables will be in one place so that you don't have to jump around and access these features from multiple pages let me go back to the customized screen now you notice that the productivity ribbon is the second ribbon. What if you want it to be the first ribbon because that's all you do day in day out. Select that and move it up and that will be the very first ribbon in Excel. So when you open Excel you see productivity ribbon activated. When you create a new file you see it is on the productivity ribbon. So this is a very very cool and very powerful way to save a lot of time, bring together all the features that you frequently use and club them in one place. Now you might be wondering, so what happens when you save your workbook with created from such a ribbon and email it to a colleague? They will only see the ribbons they have. They are not going to see your ribbon. The creation of this ribbon is attached to the Excel installation on your computer. Okay, So it is part of your Excel options. They are, nobody else is going to see this and uh, it's not going to ruin their user experience or anything like that. So keep that in mind. 
uh, apart from that these uh, ribbons are very very useful the only pain that I find with them is that uh, if you are using multiple computers which is the case nowadays right you have a computer you have a laptop you are using a tablet and uh, and a whole bunch of things in which case you would have to create such ribbons in each and every one of them okay so that is a one time process but once you have created them they are there what if somebody else were to use your computer and if you think they're going to be scared looking at that or you no longer do this pivot table work but you have moved on to some other kind of work in such case you can right click again go to customize ribbon and instead of deleting the whole thing you simply uncheck it okay so that will keep the ribbon definition in excel but it won't show it up there okay so that's that's how you can create a custom ribbon and keep it outside the view and bring it back whenever necessary like you take up a new project where you're no longer using pivot tables but you're using conditional formatting and formulas a lot you could create a ribbon that will be suitable for that environment and use it for a couple of months okay last note about ribbon customization which is if you want to create such a productivity ribbon and roll it out in uh, in a in a network or a, uh, for all the team members in in your team or whatever uh, you can go to customize ribbon and you can use this export import option select a particular ribbon and then export all customizations so that uh, excel will give you a choice where do you want to export this so i'm going to say export it uh, in that folder and let me just open up that file so we can actually see what goes so once you open the export file in probably in a notepad or notepad plus plus kind of an editor you can see that it exported all the customizations that you have set up for example what is in your quick access toolbar how other ribbons are looking what add-ins that you have enabled and so on and so forth uh, but the main part that we need to worry about is the mso tabs tab id some unique identifier and the label productivity that's the new tab that we just created and uh, this one appears before the tab home because we set the order to be in that way and the definition for that tab is here now this is basically your standard xml code that is generated to correspond with ribbon ui um, i would say this is not a very easily understandable format for newbies so don't bother looking at this unless you know what you are doing but this is how the customizations work so once you have this customization exported uh, you can then ask your colleagues to import this customization so that they can uh, they can use it to set up their computers or you can use it to set it up same customizations on other computers that that you will be using so this is how you can create a custom ribbon you can save a hell of a lot of time and uh, you can be more productive at your work i hope you find this lesson awesome uh, just a friendly reminder this lesson is uh, this video is part of our awesome august festival that i'm running at chendu.org where my goal is to uh, churn out 31 awesome posts one for each day of august okay now the festival also has a contest going on in each and every post there is a comment section and uh, people commenting there will qualify for a 31 dollar amazon gift card giveaway uh, and at the end of month august i'll pick 31 winners and i'm going to give each one of them 31 dollars gift card okay so if you would like to participate in that context go and uh, contest go and leave a comment on chendu.org uh, you might be able to find the link in your YouTube or Facebook description of this video or if you are watching it on Chendu.org already then uh, you, you know where to post your comment for the subject of comment for this post uh, you need to showcase a custom ribbon that you have developed so you need to create a custom ribbon and then you need to showcase it okay create a custom ribbon take a screenshot and then upload the screenshot to uh, to any any place like a free image hosting site like Flickr or I don't know what else but upload it somewhere and then paste a link that to that in in the comments along with explanation of the customization that you have done 
so that uh, we can look at your customary bugs and we all can learn from each other. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay awesome. I'll talk to you again in the next one. Bye-bye.